Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's more energetic. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Ma How are you? Fine. Then we start yesterday. We started new chapter, mineral and power resources, right? In the chapter, we have discussed definition of mineral, right? What are minerals or how can we define mineral? Then types of minerals, right? And shall I ask you some questions? Anandida, what are mineral? Mineral. The naturally occurring substance that has a definite chemical composition. Yes. Naturally occurring substances that has a definite chemical composition. It's called mineral. Then what about the classification of minerals, Hira? Um, metallic and non-metallic. Based on composition, minerals based. are, you have to say like this, based on composition, no, com minerals are classified into, based on chemical composition, minerals are classified into two. Metallic. Yes. And non-metallic. Metallic and non-metallic, very good, okay. Anugraph, what are metallic minerals? Contains metal. Yes, metallic minerals contain metal, it's hard, right, and good conductor of heat and electricity. That's why I give you some example, right? We use metal utensils in our kitchen because it's a good conductor of heat, and we use copper wires for transferring electricity, okay? Then, metallic minerals again classified into two. What are they? Nikila. Ferrous minerals and non-ferrous minerals. Ferrous and non-ferrous minerals. What are ferrous? Or what is ferrous and non-ferrous? Ferrous. Yes. Ferrous is iron. Or yes, Jeff, very good. Ferrous is? Ferrous contains iron. Ferrous mineral contains iron. Very good. Then non-ferrous? Do not contain. Non-ferrous do not contain iron. Do not contain iron. Okay, iron. Very good. Can you say some example of non-ferrous? Very simple example. Gold. Yes, gold. Gold, we all gold like silver, silver, copper. copper. Yes, yes, very good, very good, very good. Copper. One second. Okay. So classification, I hope all of you are thorough with the classification, right? Very good, thank you. Then, next. As I told you in the beginning, minerals are scattered throughout the earth rock crust, right? So you will not find minerals in equal proportion everywhere. So we need to extract minerals. We need to extract sources and use. And then how can we extract minerals? What is the meaning of extract? What is extraction? Taking. Taking out, right? Taking out. Taking out. Very good. Extra. How can we extract minerals? By swimming up. So today we are going to focus on extraction of minerals or how can we extract minerals. So minerals can be extracted by three ways, three methods are there, right? Mining, drilling and quarrying. All of you are familiar with the word mining, right? Yes. yes. Mining, yeah, you heard the word or you listen the word mining. Quarrying is also. You might have seen quarries. Have you seen quarries? Quarry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Christo has some quarries. Okay, very good, Christo. Then let us see extraction of minerals. So, extraction of minerals. Taking out of minerals. Right? I have told you in the beginning, minerals are seen in the areas of or concentrated in areas of rock formation, right? So how can we extract minerals? Minerals can be extracted by mining, drilling, and quarrying. Draw a flow chart like this in your lecture book. Extraction of minerals. Minerals can be extracted by mining, drilling, and quarrying. Quarrying. So let us see one by one. What is mining? The simple word, how can we define mining? 
It's a process of taking out minerals from rocks which were buried under the earth's surface. It's called mining. Note down the point. Process of taking out minerals from the rock, from rocks which were buried under the surface of the earth. So, how can we say mining? Mining is a process of taking out minerals. Right, that are buried under the surface of the earth. Clear? Minerals are buried under the surface of the earth, right? It created by natural. It creates it created naturally. So we have to take it out. This process is known as mining. Jeff, what is mining? Jeff, what is mining? How can we define mining? Ellen, what is mining? Process, process of taking of minerals out from the rock. Out from the yes. rock, buried. Process of taking out minerals, minerals from, from rocks. The rocks. Buried, buried under the, the rocks of the earth is called Mining. Okay. Mining. Mining has been classified into two. Open cast. So draw a flow chart in your lecture book. Give a heading extraction of minerals, right? Yes, and do like this mining and under the below the mining, give definition, right? The definition of mining. Process of taking out minerals from rocks. It's enough. Lecture book and read the textbook also. Then again. Okay. Minerals again, mining again classified into two open cast mining and shaft mining. Let us see what is open cast mining and shaft mining. Right? See, open cast mining. Minerals that lie at shallow depth are taken out by removing the surface of the earth layer. If the minerals present at not at greater depth, shallow depth means not at greater depth. Clear? Not at greater depth. Just opposite, not at greater depth. Minerals are present not at greater depth. We use open cast mine. Look at the picture, this is open cast mine. This uh, open cast mining is very popular in India or very famous in India with the help of uh, what they are doing for us with the help of dynamite. What is dynamite? It's an explosive, right? With the help of dynamite, they blow the, surface, blow the earth surface to remove the layer which contain minerals, right? They use them explosives, explosives. Here they use dynamite. It's an explosive. With the help of dynamite, they blow the surf, uh, earth surface to remove the layer which contain or that contain mineral. Clear? What is open cast mining? Yes, ma'am. Ma but here, minerals are not at the uh, greater depth. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Not at the greater depth and not like near the surface. It's called open cast mining. Then, second type of mining is shaft mining. Here, deep bores, deep holes are made. See, deep holes with machines, deep holes are made to take out the minerals. Here, minerals are present at greater depth. Right? If the minerals are present at greater depth, we use shaft mining. Shaft means here, deep holes are made. Deep holes are made to take out the minerals. Shaft mining. Both are clear. Open cast mining and shaft mining. Yes. Just open yes, cast, open the surface of the earth. Right? Understand like that. Open the surface of the earth with the help of some explosives and take out the minerals, right? If the minerals are present at the greater depth, we use shaft mining. 
extraction of gold extraction of coal and other minerals they are the greater depth so we use shaft mining clear open yes, cast mining minerals yes, that lie at shallow depth shallow depth means not at greater depth by removing the surface of the earth i told you it's very uh, famous in india with the what they are doing here is actually with the help of dynamites blow the surface of the earth to remove the layer that contain minerals and second one shaft mining deep holes bores means deep holes are made to reach mineral deposit to take out minerals right then how we take minerals from the greater depth they use some uh, something like uh, elevator Jeez. to take out the minerals from greater depth clear Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma we are talking about mining. Mining is a simple, it's a process of taking out minerals from the earth's surface, right? Mining has been classified into two: open cast mining and shaft mining. Open cast mining, if the minerals lie at the shallow depth, not at the greater depth, we use open cast mining. Then, next one is shaft mining. Yeah. Deep holes are made to take out minerals. Clear? Is it yes, clear, my dear children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma what is open cast mining? Salin, are you there? Salin. Yes, ma'am. Salin, what is open cast mining? Look at the board and read. What is? <laughs> open the surface of the. Open the surface of the earth to take out the minerals. Right? If the minerals are present, not at greater depth, right? It lies yes. at shallow depth. Then, what is shaft mining? Look at the board. Deep bore shafts are made to each reach mineral deposit that lie at great Deep depth. Deep holes are made to take out minerals. Right? Deep holes are made to take out minerals or to reach the mineral deposit. The mineral, if the minerals here, minerals lies. If the minerals present at greater depth, we follow or we use this type of mining, shaft mining. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Then, who will say two types of mining? Who will explain? Yes, Anandita. Yes, mining the process of taking out uh, of minerals from yes. the rock buried on the earth's surface. Yes. Two types of mining is open cast mining and shaft mining. Yes. Open cast mining, uh, uh, the um, minerals lie at the sh uh, shallow depth. Yes. Are taken. Shallow depth means not a greater depth. Okay. And in shaft mining, uh, the minerals that lie at a greater depth are taken. How we are taken? Um, How we take um, minerals? Deep boards or deep holes are made. Clear? Deep holes are made to reach out the mineral area deposit. Clear? Yes. It's called shaft mining. I know these all these words are new to you yes you must go through it again and again right to make this portion thorough then next mining see next part first one is mining it's two classification right second type of extraction is drilling drilling then what is drilling deep wells are made to Take minerals out. Deep wells are made. Oil, you have heard about oil rug, right? Oil rig, sorry, oil rig. <clears throat> okay, actually, drilling is done to take out petroleum and other fossil fuels. 
petroleum and other gases. Drilling is done to extract petroleum and other gases. So here also, here minerals present at greater depth. So deep wells are made. Deep wells are made to take up minerals. Drilling. The third type of extraction is quarrying. Quarrying it's minerals that lie near to the near the surface are simply dug out. Here minerals are not at greater depth. Here it just lie near the surface are simply dug out. Quarrying this quarry you might have seen this quarries. Quarrying is the most simplest, most easiest one, though we need hard labor. Because it require more workers, right? Though we need hard labor, but this is a cost effective method. Cost effective method or extraction. This is a classification of extraction. Drilling. Drilling is done to take out petroleum and other gases. So here we have deep holes are made, deep wells are made to take out mineral. Quarrying, when the minerals lie, if the minerals present near the surface of the earth, we use quarry. This quarrying is the most easiest one. But here we need, though we need hard labor, it's easiest one and cost effective. Clear? Class to extraction of minerals. Yes, Clear, dear children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Will I ask you some questions? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Then, drilling. What do you understand by this word, drilling? Christoph. Deep wells are bought to make, to take them out minerals. Yes, deep wells are bought or deep wells are made to take out minerals. minerals. Right? An example, you can say drilling is done to extract minerals. Done to extract petroleum. Petroleum. Extract petroleum and other gases, right? Then, next one is quarrying. Nigla, would you understand by the term quarrying? Minerals that lie near the surface are simply dug out. The minerals? that if the minerals lie near the surface of the earth we have to simply dug out right so it's called quarry then we discuss extraction of minerals right as i told you in the beginning minerals are scattered throughout the so we need to extract it. And how can we extract those minerals? Minerals can be extracted by three methods. Mining, drilling, drilling and quarrying. Pouring. What is mining? Mining is the process of taking out minerals from, from rock, the rock, from the rock, surface. Buried under the surface of the earth. Minerals, sorry, mining again classified into two. Open, cast Open mining gas mining and, and shaft mining. mining. Open cast mining, minerals that present lie not at, at shallow depth. depth. Shallow depth, right? Yes. So, with the help of uh, some explosives, they open or they broken, they broke the surface of the earth. Okay, and they blow the surface of the earth and remove the layer that contain mineral. Okay. Then shaft mining, the minerals are present at here, right, minerals are present great at depth. greater depth, right? So the minerals are present at greater depth to use shaft mining. For this, deep holes have to meet. The next one is drilling. Drilling is done to extract petroleum and other gases. Here also deep holes or wells, are, wells have to meet to take out minerals. 
Then last one, quarry. It's the most easiest one, though we know hard labor, it's very cost effective, right? Here, minerals lie near the surface of the earth, right? Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do we have any doubt in this extraction of minerals? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Shall I go to the next topic? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sudhanarayanan? Okay, dear, try to attend the class regularly. Shall I move to the next topic? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next one is distribution of minerals. Then what about distribution of minerals? So I told you minerals are distributed or scattered throughout the earth. Right? When we talk about distribution of minerals, I said to you, minerals are found, minerals are concentrated in the areas of rock formation, right? Minerals are found in rocks. Then some minerals are found in igneous rocks, some minerals are found in sedimentary rocks, some minerals are found in metamorphic rocks. In seventh standard, you have learned about the formation of rocks, right? Igneous, yes, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from molten magma. Then, when the molten magma, then metamorphic rocks are formed when the uh, sedimentary and igneous rocks go through high pressure and heat. Then, how sedimentary rocks are formed? How sedimentary rocks are formed? What is the meaning of sediment? Waste, right? Then how sedimentary rocks are formed? Waste will form into solid. Hmm? By wind, water, the waste particles. Yes. Decay plants, animals, right? Yes. Then I'm not going in detail about the formation of rocks here. We're not concentrating the formation of rocks, but we have to study some rocks or some minerals. I told you minerals are found in rocks. So some minerals are found in igneous rocks, some in metamorphic rocks, some are in sedimentary rocks. Clear? Um, 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 um. Yes? Then minerals occur in different types of rocks. Underline the point. Minerals occur in different types of rocks. Some are found in igneous rocks. Some are some in metamorphic rocks. Others in sedimentary rocks. So this is very important. Metallic minerals which contain metal, right? It's found. Yes. These minerals are found in igneous, igneous and, and metamorphic metal. rocks. Metallic rocks which contain metals are found in igneous and metamorphic rocks. Then, mineral fuels are found in sedimentary, sedimentary rocks. rocks. Mineral fuels, fuels, petroleum, other gases, natural gases are found in sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. Uh, I'll give you an easy way to understand this. Mineral fuels are found in sedimentary rocks. Okay. When you see sedimentary rocks, sedimentary sediments mean waste, right? Decayed plants and animals, fossils, right? Okay. Then when you look at sedimentary rocks, you will see a lot of sediments or decayed fossils, right? Decayed plants and animals, waste of plants and animals. So, coal and petroleum, right, or other natural gases are found in sedimentary rocks. Clear? Coal, coal, and petroleum. All these are found in sedimentary rocks. Igneous and metamorphic rocks, we can see metallic minerals, 
sedimentary rocks we can see mineral fuels example you can write petroleum petroleum clear I will explain this again. All of you listen. First, you just understand minerals are found in rocks. Okay, in different types of rock. That is the basic thing. So, minerals are found in different types of rocks. Then you know the name of three types of rocks, right? So, some minerals are found in igneous rocks, some in metamorphic, and some in sedimentary. Sedimentary. Then which all minerals are found in igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary? That you have to know. Metallic mineral. Metallic mineral which contain metal. Okay. Metallic mineral which are found in igneous and igneous metamorphic rock. Then when you think about sedimentary rocks, only one thing you have to remember in your mind. Fuel. Fuel. Right? Fossil fuel or mineral fuel. Fuels are found in sedimentary rocks. That's why we extract petroleum from ocean bed, right? Ocean bed means at the bottom of ocean. That's why I told you in the beginning to extract petroleum, deep wells are bored. See here, this is drilling in ocean, right? Oil drills. When we discuss the chapter industry, we have learned oil um, drills were, oil mines were drilled with steel machinery. Remember, steel is important. Yes, ma'am. Back more. It's clear. Igneous and metamorphic rocks, you can find metallic mineral. Sedimentary rocks, Fuels. So, coal and petroleum are found in sedimentary rocks. So, it's very easy to understand. To extract petroleum, we go to seabed. What is seabed? Sea ocean bed or seabed means? What is the meaning of ocean bed or seabed? Bottom. <laughs> under the sea, under the ocean. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If it is clear, you yes, ma'am. I think it's enough. Yes. Yes. Okay. I will give you a brief summary of today's class. Again, all of you listen here. Yes. Okay. We started mining. Sorry, extraction of minerals. Minerals. As I told you in the beginning, minerals are found in rocks, right? Yes. Buried under the surface of the earth. Not at the, not on the surface of the earth. Buried under the surface of the earth. Right? So we have to take it out. Then how can we take it out? Minerals can be, we take it out for that we use the word extraction. Extraction means take out. So, we have uh, minerals can be extracted by three methods: mining, drilling, and quarry. You might have seen quarries, right? Okay. Then, listen. Uh, you know, our Kerala uh, last few three years, uh, Kerala experienced many natural disaster, flood landslide and all right so all these times we used to uh, listen this word or order from the government they are going to stop working of all quarries what is okay clear yes, yes ma'am ma yes, ma you might have seen this right yes, yes. quarrying is very it's a it's very uh, common now 
so it affect it negatively affect uh, natural vegetation and cause landslide and all that's why during this rainy season monsoon season uh, collector declared to stop the working of or they say to stop the working of quarries in our country or in our state right then see extraction of minerals okay mining drilling and quarry mining is very simple taking out the minerals from the rocks clear no yes, study all the sentences you can study till this taking out minerals from rocks from the surface of the earth you can see right okay then two types of mining were open cast mining and shaft mining open cast mining here if the minerals are not at greater depth we can use open cast mining if the minerals are present at deeper or greater depth we can use shaft mine open cast mining uh, with uh, some explosives people blast or blow the surface of the earth see this picture just blow the surface of the earth to remove the first or two layers of the earth right and take out the minerals but shaft mining minerals are at the great some minerals are at the greater depth right gold diamond coal etc right some minerals so iron and all so deep holes are made to take out the minerals right see with machines they make deep holes to reach the place then how they take out minerals from the deep holes they use lift or elevator through lift yeah. and elevator they take out from the great depth from this deep holes it's very risky and dangerous all these jobs mining work is very risky and dangerous then drilling it's in ocean or sea you might have heard about oil rig oil rig your cousins or uh, your relatives maybe uh, uh, they are working in oil rigs that's why they get uh, they have to work only 28 days in a month right the next 28 days they can sit at home rest because it's highly risky and dangerous job here they have to go to the depth clear yes ma'am or inside the earth surface they have to go inside the earth surface so it's very risky then quarry quarry i hope all of you understand what is quarry right yes 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 ma'am here this is quarrying see rocks are transported from the quarry this rock we need for the construction of building for foundation right i hope it's clear yes ma'am next is distribution of minerals so minerals are found in different types of rocks that we all know some are in igneous some are in metamorphic and other in sedimentary right then metallic rocks are found in igneous and metamorphic rocks fuels are found in sedimentary rocks it's clear yes ma'am okay, any doubt ma'am no ma'am no then no, ma uh, for the next class you must bring a map outline of india map indian map outline okay take print out indian map outline with state border uh, better i will see you what you have to bring you know state border map yes ma'am uh, map with state border i'll show you which one you have to bring one second Can you see the board? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma yes, yes, ah, I'll share. One second. See, this type of map is required. Yes, ma'am. This one, okay? State borders are. This is just an outline map of India, but we need this one. Clear? This map. with yes outline. yes then only we can mark states in it i'll share i'll share ppt with you that time you can locate 
स्टेट्स ठीक है इसमें I think we can wind up the class. I hope all of you have understood this portion. Be thorough with read and be thorough with. Yes, ma'am. I hope you are attending the class regularly. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are you playing with uh, your brother, sister, or sibling? Hmm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Here, some here all can watch this. Some teachers also asking me. <laughs> Adila, if you want to play with your kids. Play after that attend the class, okay? Sorry, it's okay. Okay, dear children, see you in the next class. Thank okay? you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Response, listening the class. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Very happy. Thank you, ma'am.